culture that be here, you know, we've been here for so many years that we have our own way of living. And, um, you know, so that connects the homeboys to LA. I mean, it's very different than anywhere else. Well, he was just a homie. Like, homie from homie, like, I found out some shit, like, I, I it wasn't, like, intentionalmente, like, I just found it, like, we were kicking it, and I found some letters, and they were, like, they said, I, I love you from, it was a guy's name, and I was just like, whoa, homie, you sing, like, that's how I found out, I was like, whoa, you, like, you sing that way, too, and everything, and I don't know, it's just weird, like, how that shit happened, the last one. Cause I used to think that was like a cool ass homie. He was straight in my eyes, you know. Like I was seeing him, like oh he's straight, he don't sing the other way. Like, no one knew I was always in that down, down low life, you know. Like trying to hide from everyone. No one knew about me. Um, I was always like hiding under a rock, a bush, you know. Like trying to keep everything away. Like oh um, ain't nobody gonna find out about me. And that's how it was, you know. When I was doing all that shit, all that crazy shit. Huh? If you're born in the States um, or in Los Angeles, what happens on occasion is you want to be able to embrace your liberal sense of being, but also have your cultural sense of being. And the two don't necessarily go. This has always been a gay, a gay neighborhood. Um, um, immigrant, it's always been like a working class immigrant neighborhood, but. Um, lately, because of more of gentrification, there's more, a lot more middle class, more middle class white people. Um, but white people have always, white people have always been in this area. Um, but lately, it's become more known as, more no, better known as a, as, a, as a gay neighborhood. Now it's, it's more, interesting to be in a, in, in a new space like that with a lot of different gay men. Uh, and so I guess I kind of put up a wall. My friend and I, who grew up, who grew up together, she and I talked about. Uh, this wall we both put up when it comes to men, especially men, um, in romantic relationships. We kind of just, we may seem nice, very noticeable, but we're kind of unapproachable in some respects. So I kind of put that guard up, you know, just to not seem vulnerable or just kind of protect myself, but it really isn't protecting myself. It's more just not allowing, allowing myself to really live. I said I've never been content. From the space of LA as an immigrant city, as a Latino city, as a Mexicano city, I think LA is a great place from, from which gay Latino culture can, has flourished a lot, I think. In my experience living here in downtown LA, it's very comfortable. It's a very amicable for the community gay. And when you walk in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, Siempre vas a ver lo que es prácticamente caos, este, lo que es el, el, el caos social. La diversidad de tipo de gente que hay aquí. Me encuentras desde profesionales, este, vagabundos, ebrios, um, drogadictos, homosexuales, jotos. Este, es muy drástica. Allá donde, de donde yo vengo es más conservativo, más, más orientado al lo que es el tema familiar, mucho, y están muy unidas las familias allá. Y aquí la diferencia es, este, la gente es muy independiente. En especial aquí en downtown, este, la diferencia es de que la gente está ocupada. Y ahí en, ahí en Guadalajara la gente es más tranquila, está más en paz, hay más diversión, más... Our queer Latino roots on this land you know, certainly throughout the Americas, but you know, certainly Southwest is very deep. We were, we were the shamans, we were the two-spirited people. It's hard, I would assume, for a lot of younger generation. Um, even though, you know, times have changed, I think that within, um, within the Latino community, still it's, you know, uh, there's um, stigma there. But it's different when you're gay and Latino, because then it, things are complicated, you know, you are, you're, a, you're gay, which is considered this like Western white thing, right? That a lot of us can't necessarily always be, you know, or copy. Um, 
but we're also this set of traditions of of like immigrant stories of contradictions you know um, we're a different generation than our parents maybe so so when you bring the two together it's very complex 